perhaps he can even unite with Daila Amolo Odinga and grave of Rigathi Gashagwa. Is it possible that the meeting between Raila Amolo Odinga and William Samoe Ruto in Uganda together with the announcement from Rigathi Gashagwa about uniting Mount Kenya could be signaling some political realignment? Welcome to the Socrato TV where wisdom meets reality. In this analysis, we will be looking at this uh, developing situation and try to dig deep into it and also look at the possible outcome of this. Rigadi Gashagwa, who is the current deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, has been in power not for, for less than three years. And as per the current happenings uh, in the country, it seems like his position and his power is under a threat. Uh, this is uh, informed uh, by not only Ruto meeting Raila in Uganda, but we have also seen that even uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto seems to be liking Ndindi Nyoro, who is uh, also coming from Mount Kenya, and as per a number of politicians, he could actually be the person to replace uh, Rigadi Gashagwa in the 2027 presidential election. We have also seen that Rigadi Gashagwa came out vehemently and urged the mountain to unite. Governor, weka watu ya ebu pamoja. Kwa sababu, hakuna maendeleo inaweza patikana. Bila sisi kuwa kitu kimo? Uchaguzi liisha, governor ni moja. Deputy ni moja. Senator ni moja. Huyu mundigi ya mbaya na wanekana. Eh? My MP wako, MCS wako. Sisi tufanya kasi jameni. Tuungane zote, tuungene sauti moja. Nani kiwa hapa ebu ni rudie vile ni mesema. Sisi watu ya mulima Kenya. Kekoyo, embu, and meru. Tunaongea kaluka gabi? Sisi ni kitu kimo? Na sisi watu ya gema. Watu ya mulima Kenya. Guvu yetu ni umoja wetu. Na sisi tukiwa kitu kimoja, tukiongea lugha moja, tunakuwa na nguvu katika siasa ya Kenya, katika mambo ya uchumi, katika mambo ya maendeleo. Lakini tukikubali kugawanywa, tuanze kuongea hawa pande hii, wengine pande hii, tutapotea kama jamii. Nyinyi munajua siku tulikuwa hatu jairefuka, tulikuwa tunagawanya. Tukajipata kwa upizani inje ya serikali. Mwaka wa 1992, Tulikuwa hatu ya chanuka. Watu ya nyeri, watu ya kirenyaga, watu ya embu, watu ya meru, watu ya tharakanithi, na watu ya laikipia, na watu ya nyandarwa. Tukasimama na mzee mwai kibaki. Kweli ya mawongo. Watu ya moranga, kiabu, Nairobi, wakasimama na Kenneth Matiba. Tukashidwa na moi. Tulishidwa watu kushidwa. Tukakaa inje mwaka tano. Tukaumia. Mwaka wa 1997, tukarudia hiyo makosa. Hatu buwa tumerefuka. Sisi pande hii, nyeri, embu, meru, tukakufa na mzewe tukebaki. Watu ya huko wengine wakaenda kwa chari tingiru, wengine wakapotesa kura yao kwa matiba, moja kapitia katikati. Tukaumia miaka ingine tano. Mwaka wa 2002, tukaerevuka. Zote watu ya mulima Kenya, tukaunga mwai kebaki mkono, akapita na akapita na kura nzuri. Kweli ya mawongo? Tangu suku hiyo, sisi tumekuwa watu wa merevuka. Mwaka wa 2007, tena tukaungana, mwai kebaki. 2013 tukaungana uhuru Kenyatta 2017 tukaungana uhuru Kenyatta 2022 tukaungana William Ruto sisi tunataka tukienda hapo mbele tutamchagua tena William Ruto kama tumeungana kama watu ya mlima Negwadwa itu Juzi nimeona vijana wamepotea wanatumiwa na watu na maadui ya jamii hii wanakuja kugawanya sisi oh ati watu ya Muranga pande hii ati watu ya Nyeri pande hii oh hii ni wakati watu ya Kiambu oh watu wa Embu Iyo ni jia ya kutugawanya Diyo tuku ya tuna ngufu katika siyasa ya Kenya Na mimi nataka kumuambia watu wangu ni kiwa kiongozi wenu hapa kumlima Nitafanya kila juhudi kuhakikisha Hakuna kamutu ata moja Anaweza gawanya watu ya Mount Kenya Tutaongea sauti moja As you've seen in the video Rigadi Gashagwa seemed 
to be on the defensive mode. He is reacting, likely uh, from the fact that his power is under threat. And uh, as much as that could be the logical thing to do, it also puts him at a risk of seeming uh, to be undermining the president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Since even though uh, the actions of Rigadi Gashagwa could actually be informed by uh, the actions of Dr. William Samuel Ruto and his allies, but sometimes uh, your reaction is what can finish you. Uh, remember, the president is Dr. William Samuel Ruto, and he got very, very many votes in Mount Kenya uh, than any other place in the country. That is about 47%. So, if the president will see that video, of course he has seen uh, or he has heard uh, that Rigazi Gashago is now calling for unity of Mount Kenya people to rally behind Rigazi Gashago, the president may ask himself, uh, what is the end game? What does Rigadi Gashaga want to do with this Mount Kenya unit? And that could actually be like trying to outshine his master, uh, which is not very good. That can also give the president, that is Dr. William Samueru, to every reason uh, to actually do away with Rigadi Gashaga and use that as uh, use the fact that Rigadi Gashaga appears to be calling for Mount Kenya unity as an excuse uh, of doing away with him and replace him with young blood uh, like Dindi Nyoro. And if that happens, uh, uh, together with the, the fact that it is possible that Raila Amolo Odinga could support him, although that is far-fetched, uh, then the political grave of Rigadi Gashagwa uh, will have been prepared uh, very well. As I come to an end, uh, I will also like to emphasize the fact that politicians uh, usually have, first of all, their interest in ahead of the interest of the people or the interest of their partners, the interest it usually comes first. And if the interest of the one president, that is Dr. William Samuel Ruto, is to work with Didi Nyoro or to work with Raila Amolo Odinga, uh, if that interest uh, is uh, what is, uh, I can call, if it's what will serve it, the interest of Dr. William Samuel Ruto best, then uh, Rigadi Gashagwa will have nowhere to go other than retiring from politics. And if the interest of Rigadi Gashagwa, as per now, uh, doesn't coincide uh, with that of Dr. William Samuel Ruto, then maybe it could be prudent if he makes a very unpredictable strategic move. Uh, perhaps he can even unite with Daila Amolo Odinga and uh, Topol Ruto. Because it is better to die fighting than to accept uh, that you, you just to die like that. Eh? So still, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa has some space, some breathing space, which if he sits down and thinks strategically, uh, the way Dr. William Samuel Ruto did while, when uh, Raila Amolo Odinga was working with Uhuru Kenyatta, that's, he sat down and strategically placed himself and he is now the president. So we cannot really put out or erase Rigadi Gashagwa, but it will, uh, the end game and the, the political future of Rigadi Gashagwa will depend on what he will do between now and uh, the period when uh, either Ndindi Nyoro uh, will deputize uh, Dr. William Samuel Ruto or when Raila Amolo Olinga may decide to back up. Uh, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Uh, that is just my opinion in regard to the uh, the developing uh, 
uh, situation in the country. And I would also like to hear from you. What do you think? If you have a different opinion, then I will be very happy to hear it. Thank you so much for listening at the Socrato TV. Remember at the Socrato TV is where wisdom meets reality. At the Socrato TV, we analyze politics. We analyze matters to do with social affairs as well as the matters to do with the economy. As I say, I have said before at the Socrato TV, we question, we explore, and we also discover. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, bye-bye.